Yo, what's up, 2023? <laughs> what's up, Internet? That's what I usually say, but I feel like saying 2023. It's a new year. Wow, the past three years have been crazy, hasn't it, folks? The last three years hadn't made you think about, you know, maybe I should prepare for some things. Something's wrong with you. Lots of stuff been going down, lots of stuff going on. Who knows what's in the future, right? So it's smart to get prepared, be thinking about little things that you can work on this year to get you more prepared for things that you've experienced in the last three years. That's part of a reason for Battle Box, right? You know, is to help people uh, get that in their mindset of being prepared. But not only be prepared, it's get outdoors and enjoy the outdoors, learn new skills, do all that fun stuff, right? So we got Mission 95 right here, uh, 95 months of Battle Box, that's crazy. So that means this year, 2023, we're gonna be hitting our 100th box, you know, in a few months, five months. So that's gonna be pretty freaking cool, right? But uh, we're not here for Mission 100 yet. We're here for Mission 95, so let's jump into the box and get started with 2023, shall we? So, pretty decent sized box right here. Let's see what we got inside. Mission 95 mission brief. We got our mission brief right here. Each box is gonna have a mission brief. If you're new here, I'll just give you a quick rundown. You'll get a mission brief that shows every level of, ba of battle box, basic, advanced, pro, and pro plus levels. As you go up in level, you get everything that was in the lower levels. So basic gets basic, advanced gets advanced and basic, pro gets pro, advanced, and basic, pro plus gets all of it, pro plus, pro, advanced, and basic. All right, so we're going to start at basic, work our way up to pro plus. And this month, we've got three items in basic. Where do I want to put this? Put it right here. Aqua tab, 397 milligram tablets, and it's 100 count tablets right here. So here we've got aqua tabs. So what exactly is aqua tabs? Aqua tabs is a product that you should have in all your kits. You should keep some aqua tabs with you at all times. You should keep a couple with you in everyday carry. You should keep a couple with you in your bug out bag, 72 hour bags, keep them in your house, keep them in your hunting gear, keep them in your hiking gear, whatever. You should have aqua tabs on you. You got a hundred of them in here so you can split them up you know, amongst several kits. As I like to preach, you know, there's certain things that are essential for survival. One is water. We have to have water to survive. Not only do we have to have water to survive, but water can also kill you <laughs> or make your life extremely miserable um, with getting sick and stuff like that. You need to be sure that the water that you're drinking is clean and clear of any, you know, bacteria, any protozoa, any of that stuff that's gonna make you sick and even dehydrate you more because you're gonna be crapping like a goose, you know, out of your rear end, might be coming out of both ends, right? You'll quickly get dehydrated. So Aqua Tabs is a product that you can put in your water that will treat your water for you to help mitigate that so that you can drink your water to survive and not crap like a goose. So here we got our packet of Aqua Tabs here, just a simple little container. It's got a lot of information in here. You peel this up and there's a a ton of information behind this this little tab right here. Tells you everything you need to know about this. So as it says here, one tablet can treat four gallons of water. Four gallons, that's a lot of water. Four gallons in one tablet, you got a hundred tablets in here, perfect for splitting up and divvying out into different kits right here. And I mean, let's face it, you got to have water to survive, bottom line. You not always have the option of boiling water and stuff like that, so this right here, really is gonna help keep your gastrointestinal system in check and good to go when you drink water that you're not 100% sure of the quality of it. I mean, there's plenty of rivers and lakes and ponds and dams and streams and all this stuff that we can get water from in a bug out situation or in a hiking situation or whatever whatever the situation may be. But there's, there's tons of microorganisms, there's tons of things in this water that is not conducive to keeping you alive. It's just not gonna do it, okay? So if you can't boil your water, if you can't treat them in any other ways, if you don't have any filtration systems with you or anything like that, or maybe maybe you wanna add this as a, as a precautionary, still filter your water. Obviously you wanna filter it for, for debris and stuff like that, like go through a shemag or go through some sort of filter into your container, but that's not gonna get rid of the microorganism stuff. You're gonna need to boil it or use a, a filter that can do that sort of stuff. But if you don't have that, you drop this stuff in, wait, you drop a tablet in there or whatever, let it sit for 30 minutes, move it around, get it in there, good to go. 
and it's going to take care of all those little microorganisms and stuff that's going to make you extremely sick and even more dehydrated. So a great product to have for a survival situation, hunting, fishing, camping, hiking, etc., etc. Aqua tabs. Yeehaw. First item in the basic box. So the next item in the basic box is from Wooks. It's the Wooks All-in-One Tactical Gear Cleaner. You don't have to use it on tactical stuff. You can use it pretty much on anything. So here we've got the Wooks cleaner box right here. It's a pretty cool kit. Works very well. Y'all hey, like that spider cutter knife right there. I've been using the crap out of that thing. There's nothing worse than having some equipment go down or fail or start acting up because of your lack of being able to take care of it as far as its cleanliness and stuff like that. I mean, let's face it, certain, uh, let's see, how, how can I say this so that YouTube don't take the video down? Certain pew pew items, they like to be clean. They run better clean and lubricated and ready to go. But not only that, we're talking about your knives, your, your axes, uh, anything that, that needs maintenance, right? This stuff right here works great for. It doesn't matter if it's wood, if it's metal, if it's Cerakoted, if it's just blued, if it's just raw stainless steel, doesn't matter. This stuff works great. So it comes with a, uh, a cleaning cloth right here. It's kind of like a microfiber material. You've got a wooden, kind of like a toothbrush here. I guess you could use this brush your teeth if you had to, but it's a brush so that you can scrub, scrub your equipment down, made out of wood. Wooks makes all their stuff. So like this, this is actually made by Wooks um, in their factory. They've, they're primarily uh, craftsmen when it comes to wood and things like that. A lot of the firearm stocks, you know, in the world from multiple different manufacturers are actually made by Wooks. Wooks is a very highly respected uh, gun stock. Ooh, I said the G word. Pew Pew stock manufacturer for many, many, many companies. They also make this brush right here. So a really nice high quality wooden brush. You don't have to worry about any sharp edges marring anything, scratching anything or all that uh, by, by using a metal brush or anything. And then here's the cleaner. So what's great about this is it works on everything. Works on wood, works on plastics, works on, works on uh, if you got carbon fiber, if you got any, any sort of metal um, on your item. So knives, cooking knives, home stuff, doesn't matter. This stuff works great. It, it gets the grease out of the way. It, it gets you clean down to just nothing but metal or plastic or whatever it is. It gets any residues, gets all that crap off of there. So then you can properly lubricate and then, you know, run your equipment however it is designed to run. Other good thing about this, it doesn't stink. Guys, I've been there, I'm sure you have too. You're in your home and you're cleaning said items and uh, the wife isn't very happy because of the smell and the mess, right? Been there, done that, um, many others have. You're not gonna get run out of the house with this. This stuff is not gonna hurt you and it doesn't stink at all. Um, so you don't have to worry about wearing gloves. You don't have to worry about getting a very, very ventilated area or doing it outside. It says here, one step solution to clean and protect outdoor and tactical gear. Bio-based degreaser and cleaner. Dissolves oils, grimes, dirt, and dust. Best de degreaser for sensitive su surfaces. So if you got optics that you need to clean, I'm not talking about necessarily the the glass of the optics, but the exterior of the optics where you've got a lot of movable parts, you got a lot of stuff where dirt and grime and things can get into. You're okay with shooting some of this stuff on this brush and getting up in there and cleaning those areas and then wiping it down. It's not going to mess up anything. Great product. You need to keep your gear clean, folks. Go through it every now and then and keep it clean, especially your pew pew items, but also your blades, any of your camping gear, things that have multiple pieces and parts and things that, that get dirty need to be cleaned off. And this is a great cleaner to do so. And again, I will say this is a cleaner. This is not a lubricant or anything like that. So after you're done cleaning, whatever you're cleaning, you know, go over it with whatever corrosive protectant or lubricants and things like that further protect that item. This this is strictly a cleaner, not a protectant, okay? So the last item in basic is, is also an item that kind of goes into the cleaning spectrum, not necessarily for pew pew items or anything like that, which you can use it for that, but kind of all around. Like how many times have, I know I've done it several times, I'll go out to do an activity, be it hunting, fishing, uh, camping, going out to test products or whatever, and I wish I had something to either wipe myself down with or clean myself off with if I get wet or sweaty or something like that, or clean my gear off with, um, clean my camera gear off with, hunting, whatever, right? Like sometimes that gets overlooked. E even to the point where you wanna go camping, you're like, dang, I didn't bring paper towels or I didn't bring this. And then you think, well, 
paper towels, you know, I have to deal with the waste then. Either I got to burn it off or I got to take it out with me. Well, this stuff right here is a three pack. You can use this in your home. You can use this in your camp. You can use this for freaking drying off and washing your car. It works freaking excellent. So it's from US Camo Corps, Corps, Core, US Camo Corps. Check that out. So it's three items here. And these are like, uh, like chamois, but they're camouflage. They got like a digital camouflage on them, as you can see, see right here. They're different sizes and they just, they work excellent for fishing, hunting, camping, backpacking, the whole nine yards. So you've got the field chamois, which is a single tile that's 27 inches by 10 inches. And it has a little carabiner on here so that you can clip it inside your pack or outside your pack if you need to dry it. You've got two of the kitchen chamois, which are 14 by 10 inches. It does not have a carabiner. These are all the same material, just a couple different sizes. And then this here is the chamois sponge. You get two of these. I got some down here in the mystery spot so I don't have to bust these open. So we got the field chamois here, it's 27 by 10. And man, this thing like absorbs water like crazy. Like it works absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you know how chamois work, right? Uh, they, they, they work great for drying off things. These are soft. These you can use on your skin. You can dry yourself off if you get wet. Let's say your socks get wet or the inside of your boots get wet. You can take this and ram it down inside your boots stick it down in there and let it sit for a minute or two and let it help absorb that water, pull it out, wring it out, stuff it back in. It works wet or dry. So, and, and sometimes arguably I, I would say it works better damp at collecting water than it does when it's dry. So go ahead and dampen it down, wring it out and then use it. Freaking absorbs water like freaking crazy. It's amazing. So you can use this again to dry yourself off, dry your gear off. Your gear gets wet, you need to dry it off. You, you, you need to dry it off as quickly as possible and clean it up. So you've got this field chamois that you can keep on a carabiner on your pack. So you got it at all times. And then we got the kitchen chamois, which is two of them. They're 14 by 10. So they're this size. Again, for cleaning cooking gear and stuff like that while in a camp, you can get in and clean out your stainless steel pots and cups and things like that and get that water out immediately. It just soaks water up like crazy. So you can use this, you know, as a kitchen towel in your kitchen to wipe things down, clean things off, dry dishes or whatever. But in camp, these are way better than paper towels or little um, stuff like this right here that you have to, you know, hang up and dry and things like that and could start to get mildew or anything like that if you don't really this right here won't mold, won't mildew, won't stink or anything like that. This stuff dries fast and it soaks up water fast. So you get two of these, small, compact, keep in your pack. And then you've got your chamois sponge. This thing right here is amazing. So as you can see, it's thicker. So this will hold 15 times its weight in, in water. Like this soaks up water like crazy. So, and then you can use this to scrub with. So it's, you know, you can use soap and water whole nine yards to clean things while in camp. You can be down by the stream or whatever, cleaning out your pots and pans. Excellent stuff for in camp, especially for cooking. But again, for drying off anything, drying off gear, drying yourself off. You can use this to put soap on and, and clean yourself in camp under a nice waterfall or something. I've yet to experience camping where I can take a shower under a waterfall. Goals right goals that is your last item in the basic box these three u.s camo core uh chamois the kitchen chamois the field chamois and the chamois sponge so next up we got the advanced box in the advanced box but this month we got a really interesting item right here that that i've enjoyed using thus far i actually had to use it uh, a couple weeks ago so i can promise you this if you get certain types of equipment, especially your pew pew items. I hate that I have to say that cause freaking YouTube gets all in a tizzy. You get them wet, okay? You, you may think you have them dry sometimes. Like you'll dry them off, you'll dry the exterior, but you don't think about a lot of times the interior stuff. There's sometimes there's a lot of little nooks and crannies um, in, in that type of equipment that will hold water. Uh, also with knives, you know, you clean the exterior knife off, you're like, ah, oh, it's good or whatever. And then, it, then next thing you know, you got rust on it. You're like what the what the crap you know i know i dried that off or i know i did this or that and it's just so frustrating because well, i mean we spend a lot of money on some of our gear right and you want to take care of it and then you try to take care of it and you realize you didn't do a good enough job and now it's ruined this item right here 
it's pretty freaking sweet, man, because it takes care of that if you're if you miss areas, right? So this is the bone dry rust prevention handgun case. Ooh, I said handgun. Rust prevention handgun 2.0 case. I'm sorry. So it wicks moisture to prevent water damage and rust. You can store two handguns, five magazines in it. Great for knives and other accessories. No electricity needed and it removes moisture from inside of gear. That's the key part right there. It removes water from the inside of your gear. So it has inside the paneling in here, it has that um, that incandescent or whatever they call it that, that can absorb, mo absorb moisture. The whole inside of this case is one big thing of that, okay? So don't eat the case. It's reusable once it's saturated or whatever. You can set this out in the sun and it will recharge it or you can use a hair dryer to dry it out or whatever. But bottom line is this is a case so that you can take a wet item. Obviously you wanna have gone ahead and, and wiped it off as best you can, use your chamois and stuff like that. But just to be safe, if there's any nook and cranny in anything that's got water in it, you can put it in here. You've got uh, straps in here for magazines if you wanna do that. Or say you got a wet knife or something like that, you can put your knife on the inside of it, close it up, zip it up. What's cool about it is, is it does have, you can use this as a regular gun case if you want, um, and you can lock the zippers together. Got straps here on the outside, so you can strap this to Molly if you want. Like if you've got the seat panels in your vehicle, like we've sent in Battle Box a while back, you can strap this to the back of a seat panel so that you, know, you can put your items in there and it will remove the moisture from down in these little nooks and crannies where you may not have been able to get that moisture out. It will dry it out and you're good to go. So I have an unloaded arm here. See, you can see down inside of it. It's clear, safe, nothing going on in here. You can put that in here. Strap that down. You got your magazine. Put your magazine in there. Strap it up, zip it up, you're good to go. It's got a, a, a Velcro panel here so you can put a patch there if you want. But excellent, excellent piece of kit. And not only for pew pew, but anything, okay? Let's say you're, you're out fishing with buddies or whatever and you fall in and you know, you got your knife wet, you got, you're wearing your grandpa's old watch or something like that, your grandpa's watch got wet, your phone got wet, you know, all those different things. Th dry them off as good as possible, throw them in here and let them sit and you're good to go. Come back to it after a while and it'll be nice and dry. So that is your advanced box item right there. And they make a lot of really, so they make full size gun cases. Gave one of those away at a, a veterans hunt this past deer season, we had a veterans hunt and they do door prizes and stuff like that. I gave away a bone dry, you know, full rifle case, which is really nice. So cool piece of kit and a really cool company with a lot of really cool items. So be sure to check those out. So it's pro box time. In the pro box this month, we've got an item that we, we haven't sent out something like this in quite a while. And this, this one's freaking nice right here. It's freaking nice. From Climate, we've got the Wild Aspen 2.0 sleeping bag. Right, you Wham! The Wild Aspen 20 sleeping bag. So this thing's really cool, right? Obviously, it's in this compression sack. You can compress this down a whole lot more than this, but for packaging and display purposes, they like to leave it out a little bit longer like that right there. So we've got this compressible Wild Aspen 20 sleeping bag. Three season synthetic mummy sleeping bag with plenty of room in it. So the weight of this is about two and a half pounds, water repellent and abrasion resistant. It's got a 20 degree temperature rating. It's a really nice, nice sleeping bag. I've tested out a lot of sleeping bags. I've used a lot of sleeping bags over the years. And I promise you, uh, having a good sleeping bag is so nice because having one that's not nice really sucks. Sucks really bad. Put that down here. So it's a mummy style sleeping bag, all right? So it kind of goes up over your head. You don't have to do that, but 
you can, you know, you can get it up over your head where just your face is a little bit exposed right here. But it's got a lot of features that some really, really expensive high-end sleeping bags have. Your drawstring here for your top piece so that you can cinch that down however you like. So the zipper here can go to either side of the sleeping bag. Obviously, you know, sometimes it's hard when you try to zip up a sleeping bag and zip it from the outside and you gotta get your arm in. So you can flip that zipper to the inside, zip it from the inside. The place here right under your face is very comfortable. It doesn't have any weird edging or weird uh, stitching that I've noticed in some others where, the, where it just is aggravating. It's right there at your face and it's just, just freaking pain in the butt. And also it has a flap here that goes the length of the sleeping bag. Little things like this is what makes sleeping bags you know, so, so much different than others. It's got this insulated flap that is between you and the zippered area in the outside. So you don't have a zipper area right up against your body that cool air or hot air can escape or whatever, cool air in, hot air out, and get through that zipper. So you've got this nice, comfortable flap that is separating you from the zippered area right here. That's a little you know, feature that's often overlooked in sleeping bags. Also, my box don't fall off the table. It has a very ample sized foot box on the inside. Very comfortable foot box, nice wide open foot box area so that you have room to move your feet around. Sometimes these mummy type of uh, sleeping bags can be tight down in your feet. They're, they have been for me, some of them that I've tried out and they're, they're not extremely comfortable. This one here has ample foot box area so that you can move your feet around in there pretty good. And uh, it, it's, it's, it doesn't feel restrictive down in the foot box. And the zipper does not go all the way down to the foot box area, which also helps keep any you know, air from coming in or going out into your foot box area. Nice soft material, very soft to the touch, feels great. It's also got loops here on the outside. So what you should do when you're not using sleeping bags is in even like between uses if you can, if you can hang up your bag and let it just kind of air dry and let it kind of expand and fluff out. The fluffier your insulation is in your bag, the better it's gonna be in insulating. So if it's packed down super flat and tight all the time, all season long until you need it, it may not insulate as well. But if you can hang these up and it's got these tabs here where you can, you know, if you've got an area in your attic where you can hang your sleeping bags up, it can help get the loft back in your insulation. And yeah, you're gonna put it in your pack right here and you're gonna compress it down to go on your trip but it's different than it sitting compacted in that for months versus you know a day or two. I mean, it, it does make a difference. You can hang these up with the provided tabs, which is really nice so that you can get that insulation nice and lofty, lofty. Also has a secondary zipper down here. So if you want to, if you're getting too hot or whatever, you want to stay zipped up at the top, you can reach down and you can open this zipper, let some air out or in if need be. Or if you need to pee and you don't want to get out of your sleeping bag. I'm just saying. Um, just don't pee on your sleeping bag. That'd be gross. So that is your pro item right there, your Wild Aspen 20 sleeping bag from Climate. Yeehaw. So now it's time for the Pro Plus box, the knife of the month club, if you will. We've got a really cool knife this month, company that, that we've, we've featured a couple times in the past, 95 missions, it's been a while. Very well respected knife company and uh, pretty freaking excited about, about this knife right here. It's been a long time coming. So what we have is a knife from Spyderco. It is the Resilience Lightweight. So. There's your box right here. Open this dude up. Oh yeah, look at that. It's nice. We've got the Spyderco Resilience. Let's take a look at it. So the Spyderco Resilience in this position close is 5.2 inches long. The overall length when open 
is 9.4 inches long. So this is a pretty freaking hefty folder right here, pocket knife, 9.4 inches. That's a pretty good size pocket knife right there. So if you're like me and you got big hands, this is a welcomed knife. I mean, you, you feel like you can really, you really can do some work with this thing right here. Really, really sweet. Of course, it's got, you know, all the, the quintessential things that, that Spyderco has. It has the large thumb opening there. So you can easily open this up uh, with the flick of the thumb. It's got a really nice clip right here that's nice and tight. Not going to loosen up on you. Stays real tight to your pants, and it is ambidextrous. You can take these three screws out, swap it around to the other side if you want. Uh, for tip down carry, you can also put it down here for tip up carry if you like to carry your blades tip up versus tip down. So fully adjustable clip as far as position is concerned. So this version of the Resilience is new as far as the uh, scales are concerned. So here they're using fiberglass reinforced nylon or what they call FRN scales. It reduces the overall weight of the knife due to the size of it, but it's very tough. The FRN scales have um, enhanced non-slip grip to them and it has, you know, Spider Co's bi-directional uh, texture pattern that they're known for. So it has a fully flat ground, 8CR 13 MOV stainless steel blade, full skeletonized stainless steel liners. I don't know if you can see down in there, but it's skeletonized. So they do that for, for weight, right? So to drop the weight of the knife, they remove some metal in there. So they've got it skeletonized. If you can see, if I can get the camera angle right. Very sturdy, positive locking liner lock. I mean, it's, it's, it's a spider coat. It looks like spider coat. You know, everything that Spyderco is known for, right? As you can see, you got your lanyard hole here if you like to put lanyards or lanyard beads on your, uh, on your blades. Really nice, really nice blade. There's a twist. So, as you saw earlier that I mentioned, if you caught it, I said, check out that Spyderco knife right there or whatever when I was opening, I think it was the Wooks box. So, you may get a plain edge like this or I'm sorry, I've used this, um, so it's nasty. I actually cleaned a deer with it the other day. <laughs> um, or you'll get the uh, serrated edge here. Let's clean this thing off real quick. Take a little brush, a little scrub scrub. Kind of clean it off so it looks better for you guys. I should have done that earlier, but I didn't. I didn't. I'll wipe this thing down. So we've got our plain edge and we've got the serrated one here. So you may get this one, you may get this one, right? Really, really nice blade. And I've used this for, for a few months now. Uh, it's, it's become an everyday, everyday carry for me. I've, uh, I've been grabbing this, this knife pretty much every day and uh, I've enjoyed it. And I'll be honest with you, I've never been a huge fan of the serrated blades, but I've, I've made myself carry this knife for a couple days in the beginning just to, I like that serration. It, it works really well in a lot of different situations um, and, and I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it thus far. I'd say I've never really been a huge fan of the serrated edges, but I like that one. So that is your knife of the month, the Spider Co. Resilience Lightweight with FRN scales in regular plain blade right there. Full grind all the way down, flat grind, or serration added in my pocket. Yeah. In my pocket. Very easy to open. Nice and smooth. I like it. I like it a lot. So that's Mission 95 of Battle Box, folks. Really cool box this month with plenty of stuff to add to your preps and stuff to take care of your preps. So that's very important. You got to maintain your home. You got to maintain your vehicle and all this stuff. You need to maintain your gear as well. We're going to do a quick recap. Aqua tabs, essential for survival, folks. There's 100 tablets in there. Divvy them up amongst all your kits so you always have some tablets with you. One tablet can treat up to four gallons of water. 
that is really, really, really good. 400 gallons worth of water treatment right there in that little bottle. So be sure to use that stuff. You got to have water to survive. You don't want water that's going to shoot at your butt and make you sick and dehydrate you even worse. Take care of your water with the aqua tabs before ingesting it. We've got the Whoops cleaner right here. Excellent cleaner for all things metal, wood, plastic, whatever. Great for cleaning your gear. It's a degreaser um, and cleaner. You can get down in nooks and crannies with this brush or get into really scrubbing hard with this wooden brush right here and then clean it off, finish it off with your microfiber towel from Whoops as well. Made in the USA, does not stink is not dangerous, biodegradable, etc., etc., etc. We've got the US camo, oh man, my knives fell down. I'm leaning on the table, my knives fell down. Get back up there. We've got the US Camo Corpse kitchen chamois, chamois sponge, and field chamois here. I'm telling you folks, ditch the paper towels, ditch all the typical stuff that you may would take for you. Take some of these chamois with you. Golly, my knives, come on, really? I wasn't very good at balancing blocks as a kid. These things are great. Dries off gear. You can use it to wash gear, wash dishes, wash your camp, cooking supplies, all that stuff. Compact, will not mold and mild mildew, will not stink. As a matter of fact, take these. It'll, it'll take the fish smell off your, off your hands. It's, it's actually ridiculous. It actually does it. Uh, so you're fishing or whatever, keep a couple in your fishing box, your tackle boxes. Excellent piece of kit to use at home or out in the wild is the camo corp, US camo corpse chamois right there. You get plenty of them. You get two sponges, you get two of the uh, kitchen chamois, and you get one of the uh, field chamois with the carabiner. The bone dry case right here, the handgun 2.0 case, not just for handguns, anything you put in there. Grandpappy's watch that got wet, your phone, blades, knives, you know, ax heads, whatever. If you need something to be dried to the point where like in nooks and crannies and down in the areas that you can't get to put it in that that uh, case right there and it will absorb the moisture and you'll be good to go and then you can recharge it by opening it up letting it sit out in the sun for a few hours or drying it out with a hair dryer and you're good to go to put other things in there i'm telling you that case right there could save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars you know, depending on what kind of pew pew item you have, uh, by putting those in there, if they get damp or you're in a situation where there's a lot of, you know, change in temperature where your gun starts to sweat, protect those things, man, because you, you mess them up, that's a lot of money. We got the Climate Wild Aspen 20 right here, mummy sleeping bag. Excellent sleeping bag. All the little details that most sleeping bag manufacturers miss, they, they've done in this, okay? The, the flap at the zipper, it's nice and it's not just a little little piece of fabric, it actually has insulation in it. It's nice and thick, runs the full length of that sleeping bag at the zipper. You're not gonna get air transfer or you know heat and cold transfer through the zipper area. Um, abrasion resistant, really nice case that goes in, uh, that it goes in, compactable. Everything's been thought of on this sleeping bag. Excellent, excellent sleeping bag right here from Climate. And then last, certainly not least we've got the spider co resilience lightweight with the frn scales fully ambidextrous and um, multi-positional uh, pocket clip great stainless steel great build it's a spider co great build quality th the whole night and you may get this blade here with no serrations you may get this blade here with you know half the blade has serrated so as always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you want to find out more about BattleBox, you can go to BattleBox.com, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com. There's no E, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com. Go to the What's in the Box page. You can see every single mission from 95 all the way down to the first box that was sent out in 2015. Uh, everything is there so you can kind of see over time, you know, what, what you could be getting and what we've done in the past, etc. Got our great 2023 lined up, folks. A lot of hard work been going on. We got a lot of really cool stuff coming in and it's so freaking exciting, so exciting. In addition to that, a lot of really cool content coming up. So really excited for that. And uh, I hope you guys stick around and really enjoy 
what we have coming to you in the social media space as, as far as content is concerned. A lot of really cool people you're gonna meet, a lot of really cool things you're gonna see. So, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Honestly, I do. Be sure to like, comment down below, hit the bell icon and the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And I will see you next month with mission 96 of BattleBox.